Yolanda Dominguez is a Spanish feminist artist who sees disquieting moments of conflict and crisis as opportunities for social change and creativity. Known in Europe for her performance art and actions, her artistic work transcends social and educational boundaries. For two weeks in April of 2014, Yolanda Dominguez was invited as the Ballin Visiting Scholar at New Mexico Highlands University in Las Vegas, New Mexico to work with several different classes. The students, guided by Yolanda, took the NMHU campus in the little town of Vegas by storm with unexpected and unfamiliar actions. This is a highlight of Yolanda Dominguez's actions performed by the NMHU students who she worked with during her two weeks as the Ballin Scholar. The first of the actions performed by the students was Medicos del Mundo. The students took to the streets at a local gas station, wearing hospital gowns and dragging medical paraphernalia, demonstrating the real problems which many people face due to the recent cuts in health care and the high cost of insurance. Fashion Victims is an action inspired by the recent events in Bangladesh when various textile workshops collapsed, killing 1,127 workers. The action brings into the light of the real day fashion victims, the exploited workers, many of whom are children and the millions harmed by the contamination that the factories produce in the production countries. The students took to the streets of Las Vegas appealing for responsible production and consumption, both for people and the planet.
Chicas Hoven, or Young Woman, is a project that makes individual think about the economical consequences of domestic work operating within a couple's relationship and how this influences a woman's role. Flyers were posted throughout Las Vegas and on the NMHU campus, very similar to the ones that announced Painter for Hire. A very specific offer was announced. Young girl with smart appearance is offered for all that is expected from a woman in a relationship. An email address was given so that every person could send inquiries related to the proposal. A number of emails were from men who wanted to meet the young woman, asking for a photo and offering a salary. We photographed some men taking the email contact information down from the flyer. Many of the flyers were taken down immediately as a form of censorship. We believe because the flyer mentioned sex as a part of the proposal. The project quickly generated controversy and heated classroom discussions were generated from observing people's reactions to the flyers. I always wanted to be a model. I was a Poses is a direct criticism of the absurd and artificial world of glamour and fashion promoted by glossy industry magazines, specifically the highly distorted image of women that they transmit through models who do not represent real women and who perform unreal attitudes and poses. The poses actions was performed by the students. The students reenacted poses inspired by Yolanda's action and performed them in various public places around the campus and in the community. The Ritz Club is like my old haunt. It's always been my favorite place to come, really. The whole world, I think, if I was to have a party.
watched Michael Phelps win two gold medals, um, you know, I was able to take him to the Great Wall. And because Omega is such a big part of the Olympics, The final action that concluded Yolanda's two weeks working with the students was toxic food. Toxic food is an action that casts a critical eye towards the safety of the food we consume. The action was performed to bring light to the foods containing GMOs, which are genetically modified organisms. Performers clad in yellow chemical hazard suits use humor to pique shoppers' interests into the safety of our food supply. and we were all trying to get like pumped up and ready because we were all nervous. We were like, oh my gosh, we need the restroom. This is so scary. <laughs> and when we finally went in, um, we were trying to just make it like really big where we were getting our items and we were like looking through the fruits and I'm like, oh my gosh, these are all horrible for us. an amazing experience when at first I mean I hadn't really heard of Yolanda until we took the class and then seeing her work I got really pumped up and I was like okay I'm excited to do this but then actually being a part of the performance was like a whole different level of like I don't know energy and you know just um, being able to be a part of it like it was really amazing and I felt really honored. negative comments that people made were, are they really doing this right now and right here? This is such a small town, nobody cares. Um, they, is there a chemical spill in Walmart? Um, I had a few other negative comments, I'm trying to think back. I, I think one of them was like, I have to wait in this checkout line for all these people to buy their product. <laughs> This is crazy. Everybody was asking us what we were doing. <laughs> they yeah. thought there was mold on all the food. I did the performance with, or the poses as well. So co going from the poses to like this really theatrical um, performance was was really amazing. And um, a lot of it I didn't expect. Like the how the people reacted. Like first of all, for the poses, um, for people to become so concerned and and even emotional was um, interesting to me. And uh, for the GMO po uh, performance, I thought it was really interesting too. Um, I was, I was happy that people were engaging and people were observing rather than ignoring it. So I'm, I'm glad that we made a spectacle. So that was like the best part of it. Well, I've never done anything like this before, so I didn't know what to expect. I just thought there was going to be a lot of negative reactions. 
So when people actually came up to me and asked me like about the GMOs and about the kind of food that we were getting and the whole project and stuff, it was really nice. It almost felt like liberating. There was quite a few instances where people would come up to us and ask, what's going on? You know, why are these people dressed in yellow? Is there a hazardous situation? In the beginning, there was um, actually really people that were concerned about the issue, and a woman and her daughter came up to us and said, my daughter was kind of frightful, you know, of this whole, with people in yellow, so we explained to her that we are just trying to educate, and I told the little girl, you know, my son's the same age as you, and he eats at school, and he's probably eating stuff that isn't the best, you know, for him, and so we're trying to give people better options. So just like informing, and they informed us. A lot of people said they garden at home, so that was kind of nice to see that people are aware of GMOs, um, but then a lot of people just passed us by. Before the, the, the act today, I didn't know what GMO was, but after the project was introduced to us, I, you know, I learned, I went online and I searched what it was about. So performing today was really a great experience, you know, having to bring awareness to people what GMO is and having to know the, the, the GMO food for my, you know, for my own. So for my own benefit, so it was pretty a good experience.